Welcome to Fox TV News, where everything is true. Tropical storm watch for Jamaica now upgrade to tropical warning as grey strengthens. The tropical storm watch in effect for the entire island has been upgraded to a tropical storm warning as tropical storm grace continues to increase in strength and move towards the northern coastline of Jamaica. The Meteorological Service of Jamaica explained that this means tropical storm conditions, including possible sustained wind speed of 34 to 63 knots or 63 to 118 kilometers per hour, are expected to affect Jamaica in 36 hours or less. At 4 a.m., the center of tropical storm Greece was located near latitude 18.2 degrees north, longitude 75.4 degrees west, or about 106 kilometers east of Port Antonio, Jamaica. Maximum sustained winds are now near 65 kilometers per hour, with higher gush and further strengthening in forecast during the next few days. Grace is moving towards the west near 26 km per hour and a general westward to west northwestward motion is expected during the next several days. On the forecast track, the center of Grace will be moving away from Haiti and closer to the northern eastern coast of Jamaica Tuesday morning, then continue westward along the coastline towards the Cayman Islands Tuesday afternoon through to the night. Tropical storm Grace is expected to produce 100 to 150 millimeters of rainfall over Jamaica on Tuesday as it spreads widespread showers and thunderstorms across the island. The Met Service Jamaica said flash flood warning and landslides should be expected. Strong gusty winds will also be experienced mainly over northern parishes as the tropical storm moves close to the coastline, the service stated. It added that sea conditions will continue to deteriorate on Tuesday, especially north of the island and marine interests are advised to remain in port until all warning messages have been lifted and sea conditions have returned to normal. JPS prepares for Grace The Jamaica Public Service says it is closely monitoring tropical storm Grace and is preparing to activate its emergency operations. According to JPS, the preparations will facilitate a quick response to any damage to the electricity infrastructure and minimize the impact of power outage on customers. Tropical storm Grace is expected to bring widespread showers and thunderstorms across the island on Tuesday. Corporate Communications Director at JPS, Winsome Callum, said some customers may lose power supply depending on the severity of the system when it gets to Jamaica. Heavy rains will likely cause landslides and some infrastructure damage. However, having begun preparations from the hurricane season months ago, we are confident that we will be able to effectively address issues arising from the system's passing, she said. JPS also reminded customers to make their own preparations and to be patient if they lose power supply. We will not be able to begin restoration until the storm conditions have passed and it is safe for our team members to work. Once it is safe, the teams will go out to first do damage assessment and then carry out the necessary repairs to the power delivery network before restoring power supply to communities and individual customers, Callum advised. There may be delay in getting through to us by phone. We therefore want to remind our customers that they do not need to call and wait for extended periods to make reports. Outage reports can be quickly and efficiently used in the JPS mobile app or our website at jpsco.com. We will also be providing regular updates through the media and our own online platform, she said. Clarendon prepared for heavy rain from Tropical Storm Grace With the forecast for Tropical Storm Grace to bring widespread showers and thunderstorms across Jamaica, Mayor of Maypen Winston Maraj says that Clarendon officials are taking no chances. We are fully prepared, the shelter managers have been briefed and are ready to take action if necessary, Winston stated. He noted out that special attention is being placed on several flood-prone areas across Tollgate and Anon Town, as well as Rocky Point and Portland Cottage in the southeast region of the parish. Everything is covered. We are aware of what must be done and have everything in place, Winston shared. He said drains have been cleaned, with the next exercise expected to be carried out in September. We just hope residents take responsibility for their personal space by ensuring that drains are not blocked, he shared. Last month, Tropical Storm Elsa unleashed heavy rains on the parish with the communities of Longville Park, Cockpick, New Village in Conpeace, Lionel Town, and sections of New Borings being the worst affected. Please remember 
to subscribe, like, share, and click the notification bell for daily updates.